Hi, this is Yashashwini and today we are going to deal with a poem by William Wordsworth and the name of the poem is Daffodils. When we are reading a poem, there are various things that we need to take into consideration like what is the theme of the poet, poem, what the poem uh, wishes to convey, what ideas it wishes to give to us, uh, how is it decorated, how it is ornamented, what are the words used in it, how is the rhyming pattern decorated and everything. So through this poem, we are going to understand some parts of it like we are going to understand how a uh, poem is ornamented like the ornaments used the ornaments used for decorating a poem are known as figures of speech and from this poem we are going to learn some figures of speech as well this poem was a memory of the poet which he had been with his sister dorothy uh, once uh, for a visit to a big daffodils field and it so happened that once he was sitting in a very light mood uh, with no work at all and that is when the memories of the daffodils mesmerized his heart, made his heart dance with joy and he penned down this poem. So let us go through the poem. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats high on high o'er vales and hills when all at once i saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the breeze so the first line itself gives us a figure of so figure of speech that is simile what is a simile a simile is a comparison that is made between two dissimilar things having only one point of similarity and joined together by words like uh, words such as as or like so here the word uh, i and cloud are the two dissimilar things that is having only one point of similarity that is like the clouds that wander aimlessly without having any destination point of journey idea of journey similarly the poet is also wandering aimlessly that is why the poet says i wandered lonely as a cloud then we go to the next line that floats on high or whales and hills which means the poet is wandering like the clouds like the clouds move over the valleys and hills and move ahead and ahead the poet is also wandering aimlessly without any point of destination when all at once i saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils now he was wandering aimlessly when his eyes were actually mesmerized were actually shocked to see a vast field of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the breeze like now the where are the daffodils located the daffodils are located beside the lake and they are beneath the trees what are the daffodils doing they are fluttering and dancing in the breeze now in the fluttering and dancing movement of the breeze, of the daffodils in the breeze it seems like they are welcoming the poet towards them like we welcome the guests to our house and turn to be the host similarly the poet felt the daffodils to be their host welcoming him okay so we go to the next stanza here continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the milky way now he is comparing the daffodils with the stars and saying that as the stars shine and twinkle in the milky way now what is a milky way milky way is a galaxy where all the stars are located and as they shine and twinkle on the milky way like the stars these daffodils are also in endless line and like they are continuous to an unimaginable extent they stretched in never ending line now there was no end to wherever the poet saw there were daffodils available to his eyes now there was no end to it 
along the margin of a bay now beside the margin like the a river side there was a huge crowd of daffodils see 10000 saw i at a glance now this is also a figure of speech where he is exaggerating the idea that he could see at once 10000 flowers with one look he could see 10000 flowers tossing their heads in sprightly dance which means they were dancing like this in happiness in joy the waves beside them dance but are uh, they outdid the sparkling waves in glee now the waves were also dancing beside them but these flowers were so joyful that they overpowered overcame or they surpassed the joy of the water in the river and seemed to be happier than the water a poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company a poet poet cannot control himself to be astonished cannot control himself to be surprised in such a beautiful happy company happy companionship i gazed and gazed and let, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought now this is a very important idea wherein the poet wishes to convey that nature gives us a lot of wealth through visual imageries through auditory imageries uh through various sensory imageries but we rarely understand that because the world is in the hands of monetary benefits materialistic ideas that is why the poet say poet here says that he gazed and gazed but he could not understand what wealth the show has got to him and to going to the next stanza he says for oft when on my couch i lie in vacant or in pensive mood they flash upon that inward eye which is the bliss of solitude and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils which means whenever he lies down on his couch without any work in a very free stress free mood the, the the view visual imagery of the daffodils the sprightly dance the fluttering and dancing of the daffodils used to flash in front of his eyes and it was a blessing in his loneliness even when he was alone he used to feel that he was in a great company of daffodils and his heart used to get filled with all happiness and used to dance with the daffodils so the poet here wishes to convey to us that nature has abundance amount of a uh, joy and happiness to share with us we just need to understand it in a very vivid manner for that we need to be with nature poet the poet here is worshiping nature is praising nature's beauty through this poem thank you